Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel's For This World where we do reviews. We're going to be doing another review of my girls, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, they still showing out in public. And when they showing out in public and they not acting decent and they just showing their behinds, I got to come and regulate. I have to come and regulate and give my opinion on their actions that's all okay i'm just giving it to them or what i'm seeing on tv giving it to them what i read and see on the new, um social media feeds okay but we're going to get into a subject fi uh figure i figure what i'm talking about a subject article that was written by radaronline.com don't know how reputable they are but they ain't got sued <laughs> And it's not on social media or in the news. Okay, on your local TV broadcast or news station. They ain't got sued. So they might be having 98% of truth and the other 2% embellishment. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Because if it wasn't for them and it wasn't for the celebrities out there leaking their own news sometimes... And sometimes the people that they trusted that were around them 24-7 know their comings and goings. Those ones that are leaking their information, okay? Because anything that's not told can't be exposed, okay? But anyway, we're going to get into this article. It was written by, um, well, they don't really give us a title who wrote it. So we're just going to say a journalist over there at um, RadioOnline.com. They give us a title of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Treachery Exposed. Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore caught talking trash about Nene Leakes. Yes, child, talking trash. And even though in the last episode that we saw on Sunday, this past Sunday, where they were trying to say Yovana, you know, she's that chick at Clark Atlanta, Yovana, woo, 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 all that. Okay. They're trying to call her the snake in the garden that's uh, producing all the chaos. But I'm still saying, no, she's just like the uh, the bone carrier, but not a true bone carrier. Okay. No, Cynthia and um, Kenya Moore is trying to bring all that heat. And Cynthia is getting caught up like it ain't nobody's business. And I'm like, I don't know how why she would let Kenya set her up you know Kenya's like a friend for a few minutes and then she turns and shows her true color because if she did not have Cynthia and Candy to tape with who would she tape with who 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 is left she don't get along with Eva she barely walking a a a um ooh, it's a fine line with Portia because I thought they were gonna be camaraderie they're gonna you know have a camaraderie pleasant um type of friendship developing and blossoming but child can still up in her own ways because y'all y'all how y'all saw that regift and shit going on how you gonna regift a, a a doll okay how you gonna do that all right this time uh and you know king has said so long ago after having baby brooklyn she has changed motherhood has changed her but no it changed you for a couple of months and then you got back to your old self and you just like stirring shit up Every chance you can get a chance to do it. But like I said, she was supposed to have been fun, uh, fun, mm, forming this type of friendship with Portia from the ashes. Come rise like a true eagle sprouting up from all the fire and devastation that was caused, you know. But she's throwing Portia up under the bus. She's, you know, telling Portia, you know. Um, just keep my secret. Don't go out there and tell Eva. Just take the, the baby dog down to your uh, house and let your baby girl partake of the dog. Like, you don't want it from your dog. I mean, for your daughter. Why would I want it from my um, daughter? And if we're talking about energy, you don't just put so much negative energy on this dog. Hell, I get a dog to my child. She might start, you know, acting crazy, crying and all that. It's got the damn dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it would do that or it would, uh, the energy would come on her door to make her feel some kind of way and be uh, disruptive or whatnot. But, you know, why you going to do that? that? That's just tack as hell. But anyway, that's Kenya Moore. That's Kenya Moore all day long. And like I said, she ain't have a Portia and Cynthia and Candy to film with. And she's making enemies because Candy feeling some kind of way that she even drove the sister to the party. And I'm guessing maybe she didn't drive. Maybe they followed each other in their own cars. I don't know. 
But um, Candy tried to say something, but I'm like, Candy, I needed you to straighten her out. Like, nah, B, if you don't put that uh, doll down or take it to some other place or whatnot, give it to another little member or whatever. Hey, I just gave Eva back her damn doll. Okay, that's what you should have did. Gave Eva back her doll, let her do it, whatever she wanted to do with the doll. And then that would have been a, a real good G move. But now, nah, Candy, you, you supposed to have said, I, I, I kind of like Eva. Eva ain't did nothing to me. Nah, I ain't going out like that. If you're going to ride with me, sister, you're going to put that shit right back in, in, in the closet. The, 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 um, the bedroom or the trash can, wherever you may have thrown it to, you're going to do that. Because it ain't riding in my car. We ain't finna start no shit. I like Cynthia. I'm not going to bring that kind of action to her house and her gathering. and what. No, nah, we ain't finna do that. If you want to cut up, you cut up by yourself. But if you want to ride with me, you're going to ride, um, what do you call it, giftless. Okay? You ain't coming with that damn dog. And that's how I would have put my foot down on that situation. But said, can I'm call you out on that one. You a spade. Because you knew it wasn't right. You knew it was wrong. And you knew it was going to cause chaos. And you were not a good friend by not standing up. Because that's what you should have did. You're an OG now. God damn it. But anyway, moving on from Candy. Uh, in my sidebar with her. Because I was just totally disgusted with her not, you know, Telling her friend, no, nah, that's a foul move. We ain't finna go upset. No type of boundaries, balances, or anything. You seem to be going good with um, Portia. Let's keep it on that even keel. You ain't finna go disrupt Cynthia for nothing, okay? Because she don't never do nothing to nobody. She don't never really have, you know, well, I ain't gonna say she don't never have really nothing bad because they've been portraying her as the gossiper, as the, you know, stirring it up type of person, going to tell telling you know other little things or whatnot that she shouldn't be telling so um that's how i would have handled it and i would have just been driving on over there in my wheel by myself and saying you know hey hold on y'all you coming back in i would have been saying like no nah, b we ain't finna do all that we are not see how he at? okay you're gonna stay out there we are not going to be doing none of that. And I just would have rolled. I would have been rolling down that street, listening to good music, and just, you know, going and get me something to eat, sit myself down somewhere, and just chill and wait for the fireworks. You know what I'm saying? But it wouldn't have been me bringing the firecracker with me and somebody else initiating the, the uh the initiation to start the firecrackers going off on people. No, nah, it wouldn't have been me. But anyway, then we got, uh, you know, she got, uh, Kenya caught herself messing up a relationship with uh, Portia, trying to put Portia in the middle to accepting this particular doll. Now, Portia did the right thing. She said, uh-uh, B, we ain't finna go starting this shit again. No, I may be your friend now, but I don't know how things going. We might be enemies later on before the show ends, okay? For season 12 end, we might be on the enemy uh, stage again because I'm trying to be a nice person. I'll have my daughter. I um, got messed up with Dennis and all his mess, and I'm just putting it out there on Front Street this season. And, nah, because I kind of like Eva. I got respect for Cynthia, even though I can push her around, do everything I want to do, and say anything I want to, just as long as I'm being respectful. But, mm, mm we ain't finna do this regifting, and I'm getting stuck with the dog, and you're going to be trying to make me look like a fool. I'm like, girl, then we, when we have a camaraderie, what happened to us being straight and, and, and cool with one another? Then you're trying to pull me in some shit. Trying to make me look bad along with you. Nah, I ain't finna do that. So, and of course, you know, we saw the evidence of her getting on Cynthia at Cynthia's own event. She's sitting up there telling Cynthia, hush. <coughs> Excuse me. I am talking. That is very rude of you. Don't you see I haven't finished my... Just get on her like she's some kind of child. And I'm like, I would have stood up and said, bitch, hold up. For one, you are in my house. You're in my camp. Now, first of all, I want to ask, do you have anything uh, to eat? Uh, or do you need anything else to eat? And if she would have said, no, I'm cool. And I would say, well, do you need anything to drink? Uh, are you sufficient? You know, or you need to go to the potty or whatever? You know, relieve your urine or anything of that nature? And she would have said, no, why you ask? And I said, because you finna get the hell up out of my house now. And I would say, Garcon, Garcon, my caterers who were working with me, I said, please escort her to the door, okay? And then as they really got her up out the seat, 
you know, not forcefully, but anything. We would say, you must leave now because you don't upset my space, my peace of mind, my barbecue. Uh, I, I don't want you here no more, okay? Because you don't disrespect the me. You don't disrespect the, the people I have invited here. And see, that would have been an OG move. We wouldn't be putting up all this, not in our palace, not in our house, not around our environment and our energy. No, 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 no. And then I would have said, after she was walking out and I was seeing the back side of her, not the front side, but the back side of her as security was, you know, leaving her to were leading her to the front door to out there where her car was parked or whatnot. Well, I would have said, can it, did she ride with you or anything? I noticed y'all came in together. And then if she would have said, yes, she rode with me. I'm like, well, honey, you better call her Uber because she ain't coming back up in this house. First, she's going to send me an apology letter. Ain't going to be no calling. She's going to have to write this apology letter on a card. A uh, 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 stationary letter or whatever Because mm -mm, we ain't finna have this See that would have been the Cynthia showing That she's trying to be come out Okay and then I said well you know Do what you gotta do baby You want me to fix you a plate or you need something to drink Or you need to release your bowels or anything before you leave Because you got to go and take her home I know you feel guilty but you know what You should have checked that chick before she came here Because I know you knew She was going to bring that doll So I'm checking you to tell you to check out too so I would have got rid of candy that way. Then I would have turned to evil. I'm like, you got something else to say? Do anybody else around this table got anything to say? Because I'm finna clear house. I will have peace. I will have order. I will have my peace of mind, my serenity at my own god dog and barbecue. Okay? And see, that would have set this tone for the rest of the season. Like, damn, I can't believe she said I can't believe she put candy out. Wow, I like this Cynthia. She's standing to see that's how OG, who was trying to change her image, change her tone, or how she deals with people, and whatnot. See, that side would have came up. That's how I would have handled it. That's how I handled my shit already in my own life. You know, we, you ain't finna come disrupt my peace at my house, my sanctuary, my audience. No, you see, that's how you should have got down. See, then you could have had that pretty little smirk on your face with two snaps and one whole gigantic circle. Okay, babe. But anyway, that's what how I would have played that deal. But let's go on and get into this article, guys, that were brought up from Radar Online. Okay. And that would have been something somebody would have carried back also to Nene that Cynthia done showed out. You said she had another side of her, but she was right in this incident. They would have been over Nene how calling Nene, all that, especially Marlo, honey. Marlo would have been spilling the tea. But anyway, let's go and get into this article. It was uh, titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta Treachery Exposed Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore Caught uh, Trash Talking. Okay, this article was uh, brought out yesterday, which was the third uh, and it goes on to say, mm, the snake who is stirring up trouble for Nene Leaks and the ladies identified. And like I said, they're trying to say Eva, uh, not Eva, uh, Yovana uh, is trying to be the snake in the garden. But no, nah, I think it's Cynthia. I think it's Cynthia. Okay. I think it's Cynthia. We're seeing a new side to her. But like I said, it's fake and fraudulent at this time because she, the opportunity time she had was when Kenya was cutting up, trying to tell her to bag down, stop talking to her, let her finish her conversation. She wasn't talking to her. You know, just, just bringing her down, like, low to the ground, okay? We weren't even trying to twerk that low to get that low. You know what I'm saying? How low can you go? We weren't even trying that. But, you know, like I said, Cynthia, again, failed miserably in trying to assert herself in a situation where she came out smelling like a rose. That's why everybody just dogged Cynthia out. She don't have a backbone, and she don't know how to clear house if she have to, okay? But anyway, getting into the article, it says, Cynthia Bailey and Kenya Moore are caught trash talking on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as tensions explode on the show and Nene Leakes finally gets justice. RadarOnline.com exclusively learn. All the ladies all blame a snake in the group of stirring up drama and insider snitch to Radar about the, identified, uh, the identity of the troublemaker. Of course, Yovana is the snake they all speak of, but she didn't do it all by herself. The source spilled about Gail Yovana Monoplicior. Yovana dishes out so much trash talk and stirring up trouble, but Cynthia and Kenya are in the middle of all of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Kenya and Cynthia. Okay. It's always been Kenya. 
she just like Nene. She tried to play her pawns, try to play her little other women around the group to try to get what she want done, and then try to hide her hands like she ain't said ain't did nothing. Okay, but no, Kenya brings everything to the. Uh, to the light of how she wants to play it. And the rest of them like Portia, Candy, and Cynthia are just collateral damage. Okay. And they don't see that. And I'm like, Candy, hey, she already don't, you know, put Portia in the middle. Pull Portia in the middle. But Portia was smart enough to go and say, uh-uh, Eva, this didn't come from me. I ain't having this dog. You could take this dog, do whatever you want to do with it. But Candy tried to give it to me. I'm giving it back to you and y'all sell it or whatever. Because I don't want no, nothing to do with this. Okay. And then um, she already done cuss Cynthia out trying to talk to her like she's some kind of child. Some kind of child that she don't have no love for. You know what I'm saying? Unless they, the child was just, you know, being in grown for business and they just kept interrupting and stuff of that nature. Then you do have to get your child together and move on. But Cynthia is far from a child, okay? She's really older than um, Kenya. So Kenya should be paying homage to her and not talking like, you know, talking to her like she's less than a human being. Because that's pretty much what she treats her doll better than she treats Cynthia, okay? I'm just keeping it real. So if you, and then Candy, you know, I'm like, Candy? Now she done destroy these two women and try to put them down as, as many times or poor tricks where she's making them look like a fool. What you think she gonna do to you, Candy? What you think she gonna do to you? You better think that thing out while you calling her, oh, she my friend. But sometimes Kenya just, she just does too much. Uh-uh. Can I fought you because you supposed to set the tone on how you're going to have your friends surround themselves with you. You can't be having somebody out there windmilling and shit and thinking they, then they talking trash and, and, and stuff you don't agree with. And then you bagging them up because you ain't saying that. No, nah, Candy. Mm -mm, you was faking fraud and she caught, caught that situation. She left Kenya right at her little mansion at home and said, I'll see you later. I ain't going to be a part of this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you didn't do that. So I called you out and I called you not really a good friend. Okay. But anyway, moving on from that situation, it says, according to the insider, Cynthia is exposed for co-signing others trash talk. When Eva called Kenya a late in life mother and other things, Cynthia laughed. The ladies are finally figuring out that Cynthia isn't the perfect friend she wants everybody to think she is. Okay. It says the source told Radar that Yovana stays loyal to Nini so she finally gets justice after all the ladies trash talk her. I don't really know what kind of justice Yovana was letting Nini use her on by bringing her back information. Maybe Nini didn't even ask for the information. You know what I'm saying? But Yovana's trying to get some on camera time so she's trying to be like this little bone collector like Sheree used to be and you know try to uh, form friendships and forge friendships where she can get more taping time and where she can try to get um a peach on the real housewives of Atlanta but to tell you the truth I'd rather see Marlo Hampton get that peach prior to her he'll either keep Eva on the show because you probably just really don't give me nothing you know what I'm saying even her delivery of trying to bring smoke at the barbecue when she was trying to tell Cynthia she was kind of wrong she was shady because she shouldn't be talking about her bff or past bff like that you know trying to throw Cynthia on the bus I'm like girl sit there and then he beefing out in the street ain't no hoes boy okay you say shit you don't say shit but you don't hit below the belt especially if you, you plan on reconnecting with that friend nah you keep them them dark dark secrets to yourself you don't never play them don't never play that hand <laughs> you take them to the grave okay but it depends I just say that. It depends on if they throwing some of your trash that you never want to see the light of day come up. Then, yeah, all fair love and war then. But it wasn't a situation like that. But like I said, Kenya's burning real true bridges around now. And I'm like, okay, she's going to be like Nene. Be over there not being able to film with nobody. With, you know, I, I think everybody would film with Nene. You know what I'm saying? Because she ain't really done nothing that terrible. But uh, Ken done threw people on the bus, done let them le left out there in the heat the Friday there. If they was on fire, she wouldn't piss on them. You know what I'm saying? She's she that kind of friend that you don't need. Hell, you have her for a friend 24, 7, 365 days a year. Hell, you don't need no enemies. You don't. You don't need them. Okay? But anyway, that's just my spiel, my sidebar. Let's get back into this article. It said, um, Kenya, Real Housewives of Atlanta combat was fully was full-time drama, the source spilled to Radar exclusively after she was fired for refusing to film her personal life and her secret marriage to Mark Daly. She returned to Real Housewives of Atlanta with a 1 million 
pay cut but willing to cause trouble at any cost. Now, you know, I had people going back and forth from me. It's not neither here nor there. We had some few people saying, nah, she ain't come back for no half. She ain't come back for no $500,000. I mean, is it too far fetched to believe that Kenya, with no income, she left the show prematurely because she thought she had the love of her life, allegedly? And could it not be somewhat plausible she would even come back for a hundred grand? You know what I'm saying? Because she missed the spotlight. Come on, people. Where was she trucking around now making headline news? Nowhere. Okay, nowhere. But anyway, that's just my side by my uh my true intentions of what I'm seeing, my perspective. Because if if, if it didn't if it wasn't that lucrative for you, why even want to come back? You know, even just cause they knocking at your door if you was fed up, this, that, and the third. You don't have to come back. You don't have to. I mean, look at Kim Fields. She has a very successful uh, TV and film and producing type career. She didn't come back for that stuff. You know? I don't know about anybody else that I know. But Cherie ain't doing too much out there. I mean, Sheree. Mm, who else? Deshaun Snow. She was messing around in some taxpayers type of things going on. Lisa Wu ain't really doing too much. But it's like I said, it's just neither here nor there. Because even Nene had to try some outside uh, ventures when it tr was trying to add on to her purse strings and didn't quite work out. Uh, that little Glee sitcom, it finally got canceled or they didn't. They saw it coming that it was going to be canceled and they didn't renew Nene's contract and this, that, and third. And, and you know, she tried some other things out there. And it, it just, you know, she went on Broadway doing something, some circus act or something. I, I can't remember. But it, it wasn't as lucrative as the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, you ain't going to tell me Bravo was the only one knocking on the door. Nene was over there knocking on Bravo's door, too, trying to get in the negotiations of bringing herself back. So it was a mutual agreement. And I, I think it was uh, the same thing with Kenya Moore. But they weren't going to bring Kenya Moore back at that said rate that she left on, mainly because she did them dirty. She cut out a piece of her life that would have been very salacious, would have been very fitting because she had seen allegedly to have gotten everything she wanted, which was a relationship, uh, a husband. She became a wife and then she became a mother. So she had the perfect family in her eyes until it just started unraveling, okay? Because, you know, we all have our speculations and our opinions on how we really feel about her union with Mark. So... To say that, to say this, let's get back to the article, okay? You know, I do my sidebars. I get carried away and carried away some here and there. But anyway, um, okay, go on. It says, she just inserts herself in every situation, and it makes Portia Williams and Cynthia step away from her. The source said about Kenya trash talking that ends up burning her only friends on the show. See, I just got finished talking about that. She's burning bridges and don't even know she really burning bridges because they all had to sit down. You're going to find the catalyst that's really starting the shit is Kenya. And she's using Cynthia Bailey to be her spokesperson. Like, I got you, girl. Go and say whatever you got to say. I got you. You know, and it ain't that type of situation. Then you got Cynthia trying to promote herself as this person who can get a, uh, you know, a be together. Now, now, don't get me wrong. If somebody put hands on uh, her, she's going to defend herself. It's going to be a fight or flight type situation. And it don't seem like Cynthia's going to back down. If you come at her, she's going to defend herself. Because we saw that when they were on some boat rented boat and they was on the water somewhere and her and Portia was having uh, words and it got to be like, you know, Portia was getting too close in her personal space and she was waving her finger and then like Portia wanted to strike and then Cynthia caught wind of that. So she got into that fight or flight mode and she took that long leg and pushed her uh, out, off of her in her vagina part and, and pushed her back with uh, Portia. Thank God she didn't hit her head on something because then that would have been an assault charge. I'm telling you. Ooh, and I want to see Cynthia get out of that one, but it just been a, you know, a misunderstanding very deeply. Uh, a deep misunderstanding where they probably wouldn't even been able to hold Cynthia from uh, being sent to jail because, you know, just because you used your foot as a weapon in a sense. And if, Lord, thank God she didn't hit any metal object or whatnot because then <laughs> it'd been a situation, girl, it'd been a situation. But thank the Lord for small blessings, okay? But anyway, um, let me see where I was.
Okay, we go to where it says Kenya, Real Housewives of Atlanta, combat was full of drama. Okay. Okay, and she was refusing to, but yeah, she got her $1 million pay cut, so we went over that. Um, and she's making um, bad, bad choices of putting her so-called friends, her mended friendship with Portia and Cynthia and possibly Candy on down the road if we keep watching the show. You know, she's alienating herself to where everybody's looking at Ken as being the bad person. And true, she in true form. She's uh, creating a lot of static. Um, then it talks about Ken more marriage problems with Mark became so bad that they announced halfway through the filming that they were getting a divorce. Now, of course, speculation was that he cheated, you know, this, that, and the third. She found out he had another whole family behind the scenes. And, this, you know, I'm like, you know. Y'all know how I feel. Y'all know how I felt about the situation. There ain't no sense to me going and I'm telling y'all. It's really what y'all feel, what y'all believe. And y'all keep, you know, hyping her up, being on her team, even though she's done, you know, really unexcusable type of behavior. But, you know, people just keep excusing her and want to blame Nene, want to blame, you know, Marlo or Eva, you know, or anybody else on the cast instead of, you know, calling the spade out. You, you did some foul shit, you know, and ain't nobody really appreciate it. And just setting it up like like that and see how she immersed through that real talk but you know it just is what it is but then we go back to this is radar exclusively reported that they had a blowout fight while film and they decided to split up after that and it gives you an opportunity to just scroll through so if you really want to check my edification on this uh, presentation of an article i'm presenting on my page please go to radar radar online.com Type in Real Housewives of Atlanta, Treachery, Kenya Moore, and then you'll get the story. Okay? But that's all I had on this particular story, guys. If y'all liked it, definitely hit that thumbs up bell. And hell, if you didn't like it, thumbs it up anyway. Okay? <laughs> And y'all can definitely make y'all opinions known down in the comment section. Uh, but just be respectful. Just be respectful of my opinions and other people that may disagree with how you're displaying how you feel. Because everybody has a validity in what they're saying and what they're sharing. It may not be the truth, but it's their truth. So let's just be respectful on that uh, knowledge of knowing how they're expressing themselves okay but that's all i have for this video y'all thank you for coming by sharing your moments your time with me and seeing just what i have to talk about and discuss on my channel i really appreciate it y'all thank you for my old subscribers thank you for my new subscribers and thank you for the ones that are thinking about coming over thank you thank you thank you because without you there would be no me okay because they ain't up on this channel and not trying to get some kind of dollars out of it you know what i'm saying i can keep my opinions to myself gotta be hard though because everybody don't like to hear my opinion at home they be tired they be like girl shut your mouth go to bed <laughs> but it's just how giddy i get sometimes i guess but that's all i have for this video and i will talk to you guys tomorrow for another story i'm sure it will be one for me to talk about especially because these women are always in the news they either doing great things or they doing questionable things or they doing bad things and i'm here to call them out on every last one of them okay but y'all be blessed and i'll see y'all tomorrow god willing bye-bye or i should say good night